Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Eddie Place. I'm your host Eddie. Today we're going to be watching Season 1, Episode 2 uh, of The Expanse, um, titled The Big Empty. Uh, if you haven't seen the first reaction and discussion video, you can find that link in the description box below. Uh, before we get started, a few things. The first one, biggest one, um, I don't really have an upload schedule for these videos there's no like you know new episode every Tuesday Thursday Wednesday whatever uh, because I do have I have my day job and so like I'm limited to you know how much editing I can do uh, because I have other things that I do aside from work and then video recording and editing but um, I will let you know that I'm going to try to upload at least two reaction and discussion videos every week um, and maybe there might be more maybe there might be less but I'm gonna try my best to do at least two so that I can you know at least have something going up uh, as for the days I'm not sure what days but um, you know just uh, uh, just uh, you know keep an eye out <laughs> for that channel and if you have the bell the bell notification thing tapped then um, then you get a notification when a new episode comes up goes out so that's good uh, oh what else what else what else um, oh yeah uh, if you do want to stay up to date uh, with like maybe changes and like what I'm doing or updates or maybe new things I plan on recording and doing uh, you should follow me on Twitter uh, that's where I try to put up all the updates if you want to support me uh, anyway you can only if you can only if you can you can uh, find me on patreon as well and if you're interested in reading some of my stories or a short story that I wrote and the book that I'm currently writing you can uh, find that for free as well over on Royal Road um, and you can see down here have the uh, my names for each website and then in the description box you can find the links to that as well um, lastly uh, a user a viewer shout out so a shout out to Belinda I hope I'm saying that right Belinda um, it's not B Linda Belinda YouTube user thank you very much for that um, uh, they went ahead and uh, just gave me a lot of good non-spoiler information that I was unclear about such as you know names of an individual uh, population of Earth Mars and the belt uh, which are some of the big uh, the big things and some stuff that I clearly missed and they did suggest uh, that I that I probably shouldn't take notes while I'm watching it because there's a lot of details and I am I when I was editing the first video I didn't notice a lot of things where I was like hey I didn't pick that up you know I didn't pick that up but a part of me wants to take notes just because uh, I like it <laughs> this is the only reason why you know I like it and I want to have talking points at the end of the video right because this is this is a difficult it's a difficult thing so this is like a I'm watching it for the first time so I do need to keep an eye out on it but I'm also wanting to discuss the episode and I just you know discuss like characters events you know set design just set, anything that piques my interest is you know what the discussion is about um, but uh, so I'll try to I try but I'll try to limit my I'll try to limit my notes to things that seem very important you know uh, the first time around I, I took a lot of notes on stuff that I, sh would, I, I was able to easily remember but anyways uh, that's it that's all I'm gonna stop talking now um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll do the three two one go and I'll go <laughs> Is when we'll start so three two one go
That's what he was doing. <clears throat> so that's why he did it. Jim, Alex. <clears throat> I'll write down the names. That's what I need to do. Oh boy, here we go. Jim Holden. As the user Belden, uh, Belinda, sorry, Belinda mentioned that the no, 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 no windows, no windows on a spaceship. I can see the danger now. There's a window. They would have been fudged. Oh, gee. That doesn't look good. They got it right. I mean, they have to. They have to have it. But there's a part of you that knows it's like they'll be alive because these are the four remaining, or the five remaining characters from the ship. So, a part of you knows like that'll be fine. But to what degree, right? But homie, that's a big ass ship. the mag boots I knew she was cool I hope she doesn't betray my love for her coolness station I 
I don't think I wrote down crest last time. Uh, that's gotta suck. That's nice. The nice interior. Oh, look at that. Three locks. Magnetic locks. Some powerful ass magnets. Interesting. Jeez. His eyes went from green to red. Oh yeah, it is that lady from the beginning. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I can see that, I can see that. <clears throat> so Razorback is a ship. Ooh, look at all that water. Come on, homie, take a shower. Oh, okay. <laughs> So David Earnwright. Got it, got it. Putting him in the tank. Low gravity mimicry. These nuts? Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> God damn it.
No, not at all. It's the Holy Grail. I do love this act that actress's voice. Gotta give him some gum. I was expecting them to show them venting the cabin to go outside, but they didn't. <laughs> oh shit <clears throat> He told him off He told him off And then he gave him a cactus Because he wants him to respect he wants the new the new detective to respect him. God. <laughs> A 
Amos. <laughs> He's like, come on, man. He didn't want it anyways. Oh, no. That's not good. It's not like he's doing terrible. It doesn't sound like he's doing good at all. <laughs> Ooh, gross. That won't last long. He he eyed him like he was like, Oh, that's my oxygen. Swinging on a swing or something. I mean, yeah, he's trying to distract you. Gotta, gotta keep your mind off your inevitable doom.
usually that works, right? When finesse doesn't work, just pure raw power. The two homies are dying. Not good. Okay, so they had enough air to to go out, but only once. So is it that they only had enough air to go out once and come back in once and then pressurize? Or could they have gone out closed it pressurized come back inside I'm not, I'm not sure right, but hey they're fine so that's what that's what's important here they are okay hug it out bros <laughs> uh. Yeah, Naomi's the captain now. For sure, 100%. She kept her cool, she got the job done, and now they all got comms. Okay. You heard her voice, get to work. <laughs> Don't be tossing it, man. That's way too valuable.
Yeah, man, don't get on, don't get on anybody's ass because you're fuck up. Right? How are you going to get angry if they don't know the truth? Uh, what is it? Mushroom? He's not going to be smart. <laughs> oh, dude, what a waste of water. Just a couple years in a prison barge. Space prison. Space, space, space prison. You know, we started off with this guy not having enough water for a shower, and now he's just wet all the time. Homie is hardcore to do that. Straight up hardcore. 
It's a bomb. Good, good signal. Two hours of juice, good signal. Take a nap. I mean, if you can, right? Take a sweet little nap in space. Wake up and be saved or wake up and be dead. Oh, you can't wake up and be dead because you'd just be dead. Wake or take a quick little nap and wake up and you find or just never wake up at all. There you go. <laughs> it was good, it was good. Why are you staring, dog? Shit. They might not get picked up. Oh, no vector received. Oh, okay. That's good. I think. Fingers crossed. Oh, there you go. The Donager. Maybe they're not going to finish the job. Well, I mean, we'll see. Maybe, maybe not, you know? 50 50 chance, right? Oh, water, oh, water. Mm. 
That's why they targeted this ship. Of course, how did I piece it together? I should have pieced it together a lot sooner, but you know. I'm not the best. Wow. Cool. What's he looking for? Ah, okay, her dating profile. Vegan, seldom drinks. No breath work. Oh, is it chin? Chinny chin chin, a reminder of something. Budget defines. Okay, okay. A perfect heiress. Got it, got it. I'm just a great detective, that's all. No, probably from his investigation, he is a great detective. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what if they want them to know what if Morris wants everybody to know that yeah we took it down like Oh, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Damn it, James holding you glithering idiot. Cool ship. Catch. <laughs> oh. Sweet. have a door come on man <laughs> um 
Okay, okay, let's go ahead and exit out of that. Um, here we are at the end of this episode. Um, took down the names of uh, the five. Uh, members of the uh, of the crest the crest um so you got Alex which is the guy with the family he has a little cowboy boot hat on his beanie you have um Jim Holden the guy who's uh experiencing some emotional uh difficulties. You have Shed, which is the medic, the doc. And you have uh, Amos, who's the tech guy. And he's also a turf guy. That's how I kind of see it. Um, it was a good episode. Uh, so a few things that were mentioned. Um, Damn, I forgot to write down her name. The I'll just call her the heiress. The heiress had a message from her father about um, giving away the uh, the Razorback. So I'm assuming it's like either some kind of ship or something. Because uh, she also had like a like a jumpsuit, and along the the, the, the bottom of the arm it said like the Razorback. So I'm, I'm curious if it's like a ship or maybe she was like, um, she like did some, she did some maybe like racing. <laughs> this is what I, what I associated with that she was doing space racing or something like that. If the Razorback is like her prized possession or something, but she said, you know, she told her dad, you know, get rid of that Razorback. I don't care. You can't hold me back no more, dad. I'm a, I'm my own woman. So that's pretty good. Um. Oh, forgot I forgot to mention uh, Naomi, which is the captain of the five dudes. She seems to be really sharp and like on it, right? Um. But anyways, um. So you have the Razorback. Uh. Then there's a hamster that had the green eyes that was just still on the hamster wheel. And then its eyes turned red. And when its eyes turned red, it was now running on the hamster wheel. So that was an interesting thing. I'm curious if it's like a little like a little hamster robot, right? Um, that just activates when she's there and then turns off when she's gone. Let's see. Uh, another character was introduced, Sedevin Earnwright, which I think maybe he was second in line, or he's definitely someone important in the UN. I've, I, I think I didn't catch the name or like his his title. I just like got his name, but he seems to be very important. And we find out that Christian. Chris Jen, the Indian woman, she like answers to nobody. She just like has this position and she answers to nobody. So she does like her own thing. Um, there's a mention of the Holy Grail. So apparently the the Belter uh, was transporting a piece of the Holy Grail. Um. Mm, Either I really miss I, I miss something in the previous episode, or I miss something here about the holy of what exactly the holy grail is, but um, it seems to be important because it's called the holy grail. So I'm uh, I'm curious to see what that is. We'll put a little star next to that. The hell did this pin come from? Oh crap. Um 
Sorry, I'm just using a pen that I didn't know I still had. Um. Oh crap, who is this? This is June. G-O-O-N, June. I think that was a... Uh, oh, what's his name? I think that was the... Maybe he's like the commissioner or the captain of the Helix. Um, some head guy for sure. He's something. He's... I don't know. Whatever. Um, but he seemed very important and he has a lot of plans and he's like... If they knew how important this green stuff was, right? And then, oh, homie, uh, the Earther detective, he's like, well, you know, maybe um, they don't have this kind of view, so they can't really respect you for it, right? And he's like, here's a cactus to go fuck yourself with. <laughs> he didn't say that, but that's the impression, right? I got, well, I got the impression was like, here's a cactus, so now respect me, right? But I guess it was more like, here's a cactus, go fuck yourself, right? Um, I just thought that was, that was interesting. <laughs> um, there's a mention of uh, the, there mentions of Gregus. So I think Gregus, uh, Grey Gus is maybe some some gangsters or maybe like he was like a top gangster on the on the station which is a what's it called what do it is um crest station but now we know that he's like gone right so we know he's gone because we have you have these like young you know kids who are who are now taking water and they're being a bit they're being a bit dumb about it maybe they're taking too much water instead of just scraping a little bit and that's how they, you know they got in trouble so I'm 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 wonder I'm wondering if this guy's gonna show up because it says that he was like the top of the food chain right the, at least for like I guess the criminals he's like the top of the food chain and then nobody leaves their throne right but he left so so that's that. Um, let's see what else. What else? I'm writing some stuff down. What else? What else? Um, I want to say there is that um because the. Because the ship is was the Cantus, right? So sorry, the Cantus. I'm out of this. I'm gonna switch some names up earlier, uh, but the Cantus is the the civilian ship that was carrying ice, and they, um, so they got blown up by Mars. Right. So on Earth. So here's what it is. On Earth, Christian believes, or is worried that, perhaps Mars, and the and the belt are going to be partnering up with one another right like they're going to be a team and we find out that the ice that um jesus i'm forgetting the name again i just saw it that the ice that the cantus was getting was for the belt so Maybe, maybe, um, maybe the, maybe Mars isn't looking for an alliance with, um, the Belters because they blew up their ice, right? They blew up their, their supply of water. So now they're missing, their sun, so now they're not getting, uh, their second shipment of ice for water. So I'm curious as to what, what play is this Mars having all this right so I'm curious what their objective is because if they're working if, if, like I said if they're working if the Martians were working with the Belters then them destroying the civilian ship that was collecting ice would have soured that relationship like immediately um, unless they're trying to like play their hand right 
like maybe say hey we're gonna destroy these 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 ships that are collecting ice for water for the belters and what we're gonna do is we're either gonna blame earth or we're gonna have the belters depend on mars for those resources like, like oh mars is willing to give us resources so then we're gonna uh, align ourselves with mars so i think that's maybe something that's uh, that might happen or maybe one maybe one of the game plans and uh, oh I see the description here Julie Mao Julie Mao right I'll write her name over here Julie Mao is the heiress whose name I couldn't remember um but yeah, I think I think that's what those are like the two options, right? Like either Mars is gonna blame Earth for the destruction of those ships, or Mars is going to use that. Maybe the ships did go or like quote unquote went missing or whatever, and try to build um, a dependency that you know try to have the belters build a dependency for for uh for mars and for their resources that's what that's what that's what i think might be an option so two options at the moment i should write that down two options you got uh i guess they go kind of hand in hand together right destroy it lie belters depend on mars which leads to a Belters and Mars, a Belters and Martian alliance. So it's kind of, I guess it's just one. It's just one thing. It's not two things. It's just one, one thing. It just funnels down, funnels down to one thing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see the next episode and see what Mars has to offer. Uh, but anyways, folks, I think. I think that's it. I don't have anything else. Um, yeah, I, uh, if if there is something that that uh, that maybe I missed in this episode, please let me know in the comments below. Um, n once again, no nothing but spoilers. No spoilies. Any comments uh, made on this video, please keep it related to. Uh, spoiler free information and information related to you know this um this episode of the expanse um but yeah i think that, that that's it that's all i got to say if you enjoyed the video uh like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video don't like and don't subscribe hey you know you get to choose what you want to do um uh, and if you want to stay up to date with information once again you can follow me on twitter uh you can hit the bell icon to get the notification as to when a new one of these goes up because like i mentioned in the beginning uh i have no set schedule for this so you know hit that bell icon don't hit it you don't want you to break your computer just give it a little a little love tap a little love tap um but by the way, if I if I sound really quiet, maybe it's because I have some very thin walls in my apartment, and uh, if I talk a little too loud, my neighbors will get angry. So I'm trying to keep it to a low voice, but loud enough to where the mic picks it up. So I apologize for that. Um, but anyways, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so until next time. Uh, have a good one.